Widowmaker is one of the best snipers in Overwatch and a vicious force on the battlefield. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know to dominate with Widowmaker and deal with the threats that come your way. Like ducks in a row. The famous French assassin uses a combination of advanced weaponry and grappling hook to complete the mission and pick off enemy heroes. She carries a gun that doubles as both sniper rifle and SMG, each of which are designed as a hitscan weapon, with damage applied to the target instantaneously with zero travel time. This is similar to Soldier 76, McCree, and Bastion. Thankfully, she also gets considerable bonus damage for striking targets in the head. At long range, Widow's primary method of attack actually uses the alternate fire button. Zooming in on the target charges the gun, boosting damage until maxed. Fully charged body shots will take over half of the life bar of a standard 200 health hero, and headshots will equal instant death. Low mobility heroes with projectile weapons will be easy targets such as Symmetra, Zenyatta, and Junkrat. Being capable of one-shotting so many heroes allows a good Widowmaker to quickly pick up a kill, giving her team a numbers advantage at the beginning of a fight. To achieve this, she can utilize her grappling hook to launch herself to areas that will help her in surprising her victims. It can attach to most areas in mid-range and will cause her to quickly fly in that direction. Maps that offer decent verticality such as Numbai, Volskaya Industries, and Eichenwala have great locations to set up a sniper's nest. The grappling hook can also be used as an escape tool to get out of sticky situations whenever threatened in her immediate area. If a hero does break through to her location, she can safeguard herself with an early warning system. Widowmaker can launch a Venom Mine to nearly any location of her choice. It's equipped with a proximity sensor that will explode whenever an enemy gets within a few meters of its location, infecting them with poison damage for several seconds. Visually, Widow will receive an indicator to notify her of the triggered effect for both the explosion and the resulting damage. She can also drop out of her scope and deal with the threat. Her weapon also doubles as an SMG, dealing moderate damage at close range. Layering weapon fire with Venom Mine is the best way to ward off any pesky intruders unlucky enough to have wandered into her personal space. Once her ultimate is charged, she can lock into Infrasight for her and the rest of her team. This will provide a temporary wall hack to the entire map for several seconds, allowing you and your teammates a glimpse of current locations of an enemy's silhouette. The Infrasight can be used to prep kill shots as enemies approach a corner and to destroy any attempts to flank your team. This is no place for children. Amelie Lacroix underwent a massive psychological change to become a deadly weapon for Talon, and due to this, she has a few weaknesses. The ability to quickly aim for headshots is key. Unlike many heroes in the lineup, and this will require a higher level of skill from the player than other heroes demand. Searching for targets through her scope unfortunately can result in tunnel vision, greatly limiting situational awareness around Widow's immediate environment. Heroes such as Tracer, Reaper, and Genji can cause major trouble for her if they catch her unprepared. Genji can, as usual, reflect your shots and can even one-shot you in the head regardless of where you are trying to strike him if it is fired at full power. Keep an ear out for Reaper's teleport as well, listening for both his arrival announcement and footsteps. Widowmaker's shots also leave bullet trails leading directly to her location, assisting the enemy team in finding you. After a few shots, the enemy team will likely have little choice than to do everything they can to prevent your extreme damage. While scoped, her movement speed is cut to a fraction of her maximum. Any tank shields nullify her ability to deal any worthwhile damage as well and combined with their movement abilities, this makes Winston and D.Va a serious threat. Both the Venom Mine and Grappling Hook have a significant cooldown. The mine's cooldown starts immediately and is not affected by its destruction or explosion. Compounding this is that the damage dealt is done over time, so it is extremely weak against Lucio and those hugging a payload, or any heroes that have significant recoverable shields such as Zenyatta, Symmetra, or Zarya. Tank shields prevent the Venom Mine from triggering as well. Oh, I like to keep my skills sharp. Our cold-hearted blue-skinned hero can take advantage of a few tricks with the grappling hook. Pressing jump will cause her to drop midway up as needed, but it gets much better. Hitting jump when near the end of your destination will carry her momentum forward in that direction. 
Leaping over some areas can help her reach new heights, escape a bad situation, or even surprise snipe a foe on the way back down. Practice this in the training area and break it out during a match to help clinch one of her achievements. Whenever possible, be sure to focus on countering enemy snipers first. You can't do anything if they kill you, and once the coast is clear, you can pick off supports and other vital characters with ease. Generally, Widowmaker isn't the best hero for countering tanks, as she's unable to one-shot them, and their shields can cause her trouble. However, they can be used to charge her ultimate quickly if there are no other sites around. Due to her low health, Zarya can still be dispatched in a couple of shots. After a few shots, force yourself to get into the habit of moving to a different area, angle, or elevation. There is little more threatening than an unpredictable Widow in a fight. Her life form gives her a nicely narrow hitbox, so simply strafing from side to side can frustrate the opponent. The Venom Mine will light up in the UI regardless of where you are looking, even if it is behind you. This applies to enemies both triggering the mine or blowing it up, and is key for your situational awareness and survival. If you want to use it to cover your back, try to place it somewhere the enemy won't notice but are forced to pass through. You can also throw the mine into groups of enemies, as this can deal some reasonable damage to help charge your ultimate. She can duck in and out of cover between shots to take out Torbjorn's turret and other snipers. This can also help her nullify some enemy ultimates if quick enough, such as McCree's Deadeye, Soldier 76's Tactical Visor, and Reaper's Death Blossom. Widow's ult, however, will persist if she gets taken out, helping her team hold the line in her absence. Widowmaker's defensive power might be able to stop a fight before it starts, but now I want to see you share your tips for the assassin in the comments below. This has been Andrew from Curse saying thanks for watching and enjoy the game. Now I feel alive.